options here. Uh, I'm going to cue straight arms because we're going to go bear plank. But if bear plank is not available to you, you can go to your regular plank or your kneeling plank. So wrist directly underneath the shoulders. You're going to tuck the toes and just lift the knees, finding this bear plank here. So again, if this is not available to you, you can always go to your regular plank or knees down. Knees are just hovering here. Perfect. I'm going to start with just a reach. So I'm going to tap the right toe back, reach it, come back to the bear plank, switch. Left toe reaches back, back to your bear plank. We're switching here. Good. Breathe in and breathe out. This one is tough. Keep the knees lifted in that bear plank. Don't let the back arch. Good. Almost done. This is our big ending here. We got one more side to side. When you're ready. And then knees down, child's pose. Nice stretch. One more. When you're ready, we add on. So stick with what we were just doing there, or hold your plank. Otherwise, wrists under shoulders, tuck the toes, cover the knees into that bare plank. As you reach the right toe back, the left hand is going to tap the right shoulder. Bring it back in. Switch. The left foot reaches back. Right hand taps. Bring it back. Again, you can stick with just one movement. Both. Keep those knees up. Find the bare plank. Good. Nice core work, full body. You should feel the legs, feel the glutes. We used that booty band earlier. Breathing in, breathing out. I'm going to go one more side to side. And then knees down, child's pose. Reach those arms nice and long. Take your hands over to the right side of the mat. Back to center, over to the left side of the mat. Back to center. We're gonna go four point kneeling, really get a stretch here. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Thread the needle underneath the left shoulder. Continuing here. Starting to cool down. If it feels okay on this next one, you hold your shoulder down to the mat. For three, two, one. Back to four point knee on the other side. Feel like someone's pulling your fingertips each direction to get deeper into that stretch. And then this next one, holding the shoulder down to the mat, that feels good. Here's for five, four, three, two, one. Back to four point kneeling. We're going to come to a seated position here. Options, you can go crisscross applesauce. Legs can go straight out in front, or you can find your Z-sit position. For a mermaid, if you're crisscross or legs are out in front, you're just going to pick which direction you go. If you're in a Z-sit position, one hand to the ankle, other arm out to the key. Otherwise, you just pick which way you're going. You're going to go towards that ankle, nice side stretch. Inhaling back, good. Keep the shoulders down. Neck in line with spine. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. Try to really press the hips down into the mat to get deeper into that stretch. We have one more like this. Maybe hold. For five, four, three, two, one. Find your counter stretch the other way. And then we'll switch legs or just switch the direction you're going. One hand to the ankle, other arm out to the knee. And then to the side stretch. Find length as you go, lengthening the spine and the body. Over. Here for five, four, 
take legs out in front, about hip distance apart. Imagine that your hips are in quicksand, arms come out to a T, palms down, we're gonna pulse pulse, one direction, back to center, spine twist, keeping the shoulder blades drawing down, pressing both hips down into the mat to find that twist from the core, like you're bringing out the spine. Gaze goes with the back hand. Good. <clears throat> we'll go one more side to side. And then bring it back down, nice shoulder roll back. Shoulder roll forward. Good. Arms come out in front, palms face each other, hip inhale. Exhale to roll nice and slow. All the way back down to the mat. Perfect. All right, you can grab that band for the stretch. It's gonna go just on the right foot. <clears throat> the right foot up towards the ceiling in that band, or you can just hold the leg either way. Find a nice hamstring stretch, point and flex the toe here. Take that leg out to the side, wide V stretch. Bring it back up to 90. Left hand grabs the band, crops it across the body, IT band stretch. Bring it back up to 90. We're going to take um, one little teaser stretch here, so a little bit of core work. You're going to keep the band where it's at. Both hands are holding onto that band. Left leg is going to press down into the mat. It's going to be an inhale, exhale. You're going to reach up, find that half teaser position, and then scoop back down. So we got those stretches, finding it here. So you scoop up into that V sit, pulling the leg towards you. That feels good to get deeper into that stretch using the core to find that V sit, and then finding the stretch if that feels good. We have two more like this. Good. On this last one, we're gonna hold up. You got it. Hold that leg in. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Roll all the way back. Take that band off carefully. Find a figure four. So that leg we just worked, cross it over opposite thigh. Come pull that left leg in towards you, rock side to side. And then we'll go other side when you're ready. Right leg down to the mat. We'll put that band on the left arch of the foot. First finding that nice hamstring stretch. Pointing and flexing the toe. Taking it out to the side, wide V stretch. And then taking it across the body, T band stretch. back up to 90. We're going to go into that half teaser, so press the right heel down into the mat. Both hands hold the band. When you're ready, it's an inhale. Exhale, pressing up into that teaser. Pull the leg in. Once you found that piece, it nice scoop back with control. Good with your breath, finding that half teaser here. Core work, but also stretching that leg up at the top. Good. We got two more like this. On this last one, we hold up, find that stretch. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Roll all the way back. We'll take that band off, take the left ankle over the right thigh, pulling that right thigh in towards you, rocking side to side, finding a nice figure four stretch. We go knees bent, feet flat. We're gonna take the arms out wide, palms up. Let the knees sway over.
to the right, twisting all the way over. Top leg can extend even to find, get deeper into that stretch. Breathing in, breathing out. And bending the leg, using your core, bringing the knees back up towards center and switching to the other side, finding that twist. Reach the leg to extend if that feels good. Top leg extends. And then bending the knee, bringing it back up to center. Knees bent, feet flat will just open into a nice butterfly. And then close, a few more like this. Breathing in, breathing out. Letting the hips open. Maybe on this next one, you just hold open or find a comfortable position. Close your eyes. Take a few big inhales and exhales here. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Continuing to breathe, checking in with your body. Taking one last stretch if that feels good for you. We'll do three more like this. Inhaling in through your nose. Exhaling out your mouth. Two more. Last one. And then opening your eyes, bending the knees, rolling or pressing yourself up to seated. You guys are all set. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great weekend. If you have any questions, let me know.